Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about this sweet holster. Um, this holster I got, you know what, let's do this thing first. I don't need to be yelled at by anybody. Empty, empty. Weapon is clear, so there you go. Um, please, uh, please like and comment and subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate it if you guys can give me some... Uh, some love out there, or hate, <laughs> whichever way you uh, you want to go with it. Uh, if you have a different holster that you love, I'd really love to hear about your favorite holster. Um, as of right now, this is my my favorite holster. I carry appendix for my everyday carry rig. This holster is from U.S. Grunt Gear, um, and I'm really pretty blown away by the level of comfort from this holster. Um, it is hands down the most comfortable holster I've ever put on for appendix. Uh, so I ordered this, talk about a few things first, so that way I'm sure everyone's wondering why, you know, the, the clip doesn't match the, the holster. I or actually ordered this holster. So this is the only negative thing about it. I actually ordered this holster with the snap loops. Uh, I have not had a holster with snap loops before. Um, and I figured I'd give it a try. I know a lot of people swear by them. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, one of them actually has a problem. The snap is, is very loose and wouldn't stay snapped, would come unsnapped under my shirt without even touching it. Um, that's the only negative thing I have to say about this. Emailed US Grunt Gear and uh, they emailed me back within an hour um, and like four days later, uh, I think three or four days later, I got this clip in the mail because um, I, I requested a clip instead of replacement loops. Um, so I'm not gonna fault them in any way for for just busting out a uh, a regular Kydex clip for me um, rather than making it carbon fiber to match. Uh, I just appreciate the super prompt customer service and them resolving the issue. It goes under my shirt anyway. I mean, we all want to look cool, you know, looking cool is important, I guess, but it goes under my shirt. The idea is for no one to ever see this. So anyway, this is their wing holster. And uh, I, uh, I had seen a review of, a, of one of their regular holsters uh, on YouTube. And I, forget the, I forget the guy that did the review. But anyway, he mentioned how incredibly comfortable it was. And he didn't even really have... Uh, a particular reason why. Um, and so I decided to get one. Uh, they're a little bit on the inexpensive side. I think this holster with a promo code was like uh, 50 bucks, $45 or $50. And uh, figured what the heck. I'm looking, I'm always looking for ways to make my EDC as comfortable as humanly possible. Because um, if it's not comfortable, you're not going to wear it. I'm not going to wear it. Um, I live in Tennessee. It's hot here. I wear shorts and t-shirts, you know, from the end of February to, to the middle of November usually. So it's got to be comfortable. It's got to be low profile. Um, yeah. So anyway, the wing here, uh, I'm not going to go too much into the appendix style holsters. The wing is basically like a concealment claw. It pushes on your belt. Your belt goes through, pushes on your belt and, um, and pushes the grip of the gun in. Uh, and it just helps conceal it a little bit better. Some of these claws or wings, every company calls them something different. Some of them are extremely aggressive um, and push the gun in really, really, like extremely hard. Um, this one is like perfect. It's literally perfect. Um, the belt pushes on it just enough so that way this corner of the slide and this corner of the grip print or barely, barely print or don't print, but they print exactly the same, which is to me, that's the goal. This corner, this corner and this corner are the two things that you usually have the most problem with printing and they print exactly the same. So that means that this wing, uh, as you US Grunt Gear calls it, is in literally the perfect condition uh, for my body and for, for what it is that I do. So, um, that being said, super low profile. Um, the clip is super low profile. I really like that. Um, it's just super tight to the holster, super tight to the gun. You know, the fitment of this is really, I mean, it's just really great. Like, 
it's the fitment is perfect, I think. Um, there's room for suppressor height sights. Um, or uh, you would have to modify this to run an optic. I don't remember if they, if they had an option for the optic. Anyway, super comfortable. And the only reason why I can think of, by the way, retention is like off the charts. Uh, that might be a negative depending on what you're after. The, the retention is like, it's like serious, serious retention. Um, so it's probably not the very fastest holster on the planet in terms of draw speed, but it's not gonna slow you down that much. So the snap loop being an issue and maybe the level of retention might be a negative for you. Um, I really, really love how much of the trigger housing it covers. I mean, a lot of these holsters will have like most of the bottom of the trigger guard, you know, uh, visible. And I just, I really like how, how much of the trigger it covers. I, I don't ever have to worry about looking at this when I'm re when I'm putting the holster on necessarily like I it's just super super well covered and I love that a lot um, I think what makes it comfortable is just how smooth and round all this stuff is I mean it's literally sorry I keep bumping the camera is literally just super round super smooth and I really think that's why it's it's comfortable so uh I, I really cannot recommend this enough. Despite having an issue with the snap and despite getting a clip that is, you know, not carbon fiber, textured Kydex, um, I cannot recommend this enough. This has been by far the most comfortable uh, holster. It's not one of the most expensive options by any means. Um, it does a really good job of concealment. Uh, the belt clip is... This one is fantastic. It's a thicker Kydex. I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's thicker Kydex than the holster is. Um, and it's really stiff. It, it's just all the way around. The workmanship was great. Uh, good cost. Um, great customer service. Really, really fantastic customer service, which I really appreciate. Um, and uh, lead time on this was about two and a half weeks from the time I ordered it. It took about two and a half weeks to get. Uh, so it's about on par for a custom Kydex holster. Um, but yeah, uh, so there's that. Really love it. Got another video up. Uh, if you guys hit my uh, YouTube channel, subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. Got another video talking about the Hive trigger for the Glock 26, the extended mag release, uh, and a few other things. And um, I literally just, right before this, did a new video for my core belts, um, everyday carry belts. These are fantastic belts. So uh, I'll put links in the description of this video for, for all of this stuff, um, where you can buy it and where you can see my videos on it. Again, love it if you guys would subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate all your support. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, love to hear your thoughts on this. If you have one that you love, leave me a comment. If you have a different holster that you love, leave me a comment. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Later.